everybody welcome to my youtube channel if you're new hi i'm jordan if you've been here before what's up i'm just gonna get straight into it today we are going to be doing a story time as previously stated in my most recent video in my first video in my q a i said that if you guys wanted i would do a story time on my most embarrassing moment which was peeing on the bus my sophomore year of high school so that is what this video is going to be about it's extremely embarrassing and y'all honestly <laughs> y'all might think that i made this up i wish that i made this up I wish that I sat somewhere and premeditated this whole story, but I didn't. This is what happened, and it's honestly extremely gross and sad, but <sighs> we're going to get into it. <laughs> so, oh, 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 remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment some more videos that you want to see, Um, anything like that. Da -da -da -da. We're going to get into the video. It was sophomore year of high school. It was summertime so it was probably around like i don't know it was the summertime it was warm outside um and it was really just a regular regular day at high school i'm not gonna you know go into full detail of the beginning of the day because that doesn't really matter you know you wake up catch the bus at six something a.m which was ridiculous um go to school go to your classes i didn't really start having issues involving my bladder until until lunchtime um during my sophomore year of high school i was an athlete i was in track and i also took gym class and and weight training class i had gym class and weight training class back to back i exerted myself we never had food in the house so i didn't eat i didn't drink much so by the time lunchtime came your girl was drained and your girl was thirsty so i get in line I'm drinking whatever it is they have to offer. You know how they wanted to do like, they wanted to sell strawberry milk with pizza and stuff like that. I was eating that mess, which was disgusting. Um, but I was thirsty. I was just getting my hands on what I could get my hands on. So I was drinking a bunch of milk, a bunch of water from the water fountain. Um, and if you're wondering what high school I went to, I went to Glen Burnie, also known as Glen Dirty. Um, that school was literally trash. I hated it there. But... I was drinking a lot of fluid and typically I have like a routine I have a schedule every single day after my classes I'll go to lunch and after lunch I always use the bathroom because after lunch is my last period we have four classes a day I already went through the first three classes I'm in lunch and I got one I have one class left <laughs> after lunch so Today, in particular, I drink a lot of fluid, but I didn't use the bathroom before my final class, which was, I'm sure you can imagine, a mistake. Um, so, <laughs> basically, why didn't I, why didn't I, why didn't I go to, I didn't use the bathroom because I was infatuated with this crusty dude that like literally was trash. He was like flirting with me or something. You know how guys and girls flirt doing lunch or whatever. Ah. So he was flirting with me. We was play fighting or whatever. I got distracted. The bell rang and I didn't get to use the bathroom. He wasn't even that cute. He probably used like a three in one body wash. Like I don't even know why I was. Anyways. Anyways. Um. So I go to my last period without using the bathroom first, which is what I usually do. Um, and my last period was math. I hated that class. I hate math. I hate math. I hate math so much. Anyways, irrelevant. I go to my final class, which is math. And I'm just chilling. I'm having a regular schmegular class. I didn't really feel anything in my bladder. So I didn't feel an urge to use the bathroom throughout the class period. I think each class was about an hour and a half. So I pretty much go through the class. I'm pretty sure I slept through the class and I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't use the bathroom. I didn't start to feel it until about 10 minutes before class ended and teachers 
most teachers don't let you out of the classroom 15 minutes after or 15 minutes before um, class. I hate math. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so teachers don't let you in or out of the classroom. No, teachers don't let you out of the classroom 15 minutes after class starts or 15 minutes before class ends. And those two 15 minute periods, they don't let you out. But of course, I still ask just to see because, you know, I always try and use the bathroom before the final period ends. And the reason I do this is because people walking in the hallway are always so freaking slow. And I promise you, bruh, they will make you miss the bus. I had missed the bus before earlier in the year and both of my parents work full time. So it's really hard to get a ride home if I miss the bus. And I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to be stuck after school. I wanted to go home. I didn't want to be there. I hated the idea of missing the bus. So I always made sure that my bladder was empty before I hopped on that bus. Like I, I always made sure. So I go up to the teacher and I'm like, hey, can I use the bathroom? And of course, she's like, wait till the end of the class because it's 10 minutes before class ends and I'm blown. But I wasn't really feeling it, feeling it. So I was like, all right, fine. And basically, I what I did was I stood by the edge of the door and I basically was waiting for that bell. Everyone's bag was ready, you know, the end of class. Most people pick up their stuff even before it really ends and they just have their stuff ready to leave. And the reason I was waiting by the door, basically like posted up there waiting, was because I knew that the second the bell rang, all the kids from all their classes would flood out at once. There'd be all those slow walking people in the hallway who were too, you know, hard to get in front of. And there was always a line in the bathroom thing. So I just knew, okay, if I rush out and get to that bathroom before all these people or faster than all these people can build up a line, then I can use the bathroom and be out and head to the bus and still not miss the bus. Literally, right when the bell rings, right when I'm ready to zoom out to that bathroom so I can relieve myself, the teacher calls me and she's like, Jordan, you left something over here, come and get it up. I think it was like some sort of graded homework assignment um, and I left it on my desk. I, I just, I, I disregarded it. I forgot about it. I left it there on purpose. I don't know why I was there, but it was mine. And she was like, come and get it. So I'm like, crap. I see everybody coming out of the classrooms. And I'm like, shoot, 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 shoot. So I go over there and I try and hurry up and get it. I shove it in my backpack. I start to head out. And by then the hallway's packed. I got to go past all those slow walking people. By the time I get to the bathroom, it's a line. And I'm like, I can't wait in this line. I'm going to miss the bus. So I go and I hurry up and I get downstairs to check check the first floor's bathroom. And of course, there's a line there too. So I'm like, shoot. All right. I'm not really feeling it, feeling it. I'll be fine. I can wait till I get home. I hop on the bus and I'm just like, I can, I can wait till I get home. Um, that was a mistake. I'm on the bus. I'm waiting for everybody to board on so that we can take off and head to all our stops and get home. And the more and more I'm waiting for the bus to go ahead and leave, the more I'm like, bruh, the amount of time it's taken for them to leave, I could have used the bathroom twice by now. And I was just sitting there just consumed with regret. Because <laughs> I was just like, I could have used the bathroom. Y'all taking so long to leave today. Any other day, y'all would have left by now. And now it's y'all taking your time but I didn't dare say okay I'm gonna get off and then come back I wasn't about to do that because for all I know I could get off use the bathroom come back the bus would have left with all my stuff I wasn't about to do that I was like all right you just gonna stick it out wait till they take off you don't gotta go that bad you're fine you gonna make it home um and I have anxiety so it's like you know even though I didn't have to go that bad I was still thinking about it it was still making me anxious because I didn't want to pee myself. <laughs> um, we gonna continue with the story. Ah, okay. So, I hate talking about this because <laughs> this is when it really starts to get bad. The bus finally takes off. All the students are on. The bus takes off. I'm thinking, all right, fine, we're chilling, we're going to put in our headphones, we're going to, you know, we're just going to listen to music, wait till we get home. 
and everything was fine until we went over that first speed bump. Now, y'all, that first speed bump, <laughs> that first speed bump told me what it was, okay? <laughs> that first speed bump was like, now nah, you should have known better because now you stuck on this bus. <laughs> y'all, we go over that first speed bump, boom, and that's when I'm like, oh, you had to go a little bit more than you thought you did. You you should have used the bathroom. You should have just you should have just waited in in line and went. That's what you should have done. And my body kind of gave me a little warning, but I was like that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. You know, we just going to keep riding. We just going to keep riding. We fine. We fine. So I'm like, "All right, that was a little uncomfortable, but you still good. You still good. You still straight, you know." about an eight to ten minute ride to get home so i was like it's i'm fine i'm i'm fine it was you know that first little speed bump made me a little nervous but i was like it's okay it's okay you good you good we're driving you know going the regular course to school and we stop at this stop sign that's taking like a full had to have been like two to three minutes and i'm just like bruh not today today is not the today is not the day to be doing this like we we ain't we ain't ever did this before <laughs> why 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 did you think today was the day to, to do that shit? <laughs> like what so um you know i'm waiting at this stop sign and i'm like all right let's go this is taking a little bit longer than usual you add an extra three minutes to our ride i gotta get home just to make sure because even though like i said i wasn't feeling it feeling it my anxiety was acting up, so I was thinking about the whole ride. And y'all know thinking about peeing makes you want to pee. We keep riding, we keep riding. And little did I know, there was a new student on the bus that day. I don't know who the frick this kid was, but screw you, bro. Like, screw you. Because honestly, if it wasn't for you, this probably wouldn't even happen. But we're going to keep, you know what? Let me not. That was hostile. I'm sorry. Whoever new kid, listen, my apologies. Because honestly, it was my fault. It was my responsibility to pee, and I didn't. And I'm just trying to take my anger out on someone. But the reality is, it wasn't his fault. I'm just mad that he was there. Because that new kid was on that bus, he added a whole nother stop in a whole nother direction. Like, I'm talking like a whole just off the grid. They had to go there. That took an extra, what, five, six minutes? And for bus time, that's long. Then we had to get back on track and head all the way back to my area. So, you know, after that extra five to six minutes, I'm starting to feel it a little bit more, but not enough to make me really panic. I'm just kind of like, uh, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. So we get closer to my neighborhood and we make it to a, a point where it's about three stops left before um we hit my spot so we stopped at that first spot stop i'm still chilling i'm listening to music feeling it a little bit but it's not that bad and we go over another speed bump i don't know what the driver was doing that that is not how you're supposed to go over a speed bump because when i say he went over that speed i mean he flew over that speed bump i don't even think he noticed it was there but we go over a speed bump and it's like boom and i'm like oh <laughs> And that is when the alarms went off. I was like, oh my gosh, wow, wow, wow. And now all I can think about is peeing. At this point, at this point, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I take my headphones out. That's how bad it is. I'm like, God forbid we go over another speed bump because that's, that's it. My bladder is really weird. Um... At least it was especially weird that day because I honestly felt fine. Like, I felt okay. I felt like I could handle it a couple minutes before. But that speed bump really was just like, no, sis, you cannot. And you need to come up with something and you need to come up with it fast. So I'm still, you know, fast. So I kick my bladder tightening into, like, high gear in that moment. I'm like, okay, so we just going to lock our legs. We're going to sit here and we're just going to, you know. We, we got it. We just gonna lock it in. You can handle it. You can handle it. You can wait till you get home. Because at this point, we're two stops away, y'all. We're two stops away. 
who, okay? So, oh, we're still driving, we're still driving. We go over another speed bump and I'm like, okay, at this point I can feel my underwear getting a little damp. I'm starting to get a little bit of a trickle. And that's when I realized that my bladder tightening skills aren't gonna save me. Like they aren't, it's just not gonna cut it. It's, that's when I realized it's not going to be enough. Okay, so I'm sitting there. I'm tightened up. I'm like, shoot, this isn't going to be enough. I'm getting a trickle on my underwear. I'm starting to sweat. That's when I come to the realization, not only do I have to wait till I get on, home, not only do I have to hold out to them, but I also have to make the walk back home. The bus doesn't stop at the front of my house. The bus stops at the front of my neighborhood where it picks up everyone for the neighborhood. And I'm like... Not only do I got to make it to my stop, but I also got to walk all the way through my neighborhood. Shoot, never mind that. Run all the way through my neighborhood to make it through my to my house without peeing on myself. And my bladder, my body just told me like, Jordan, you're not capable of that. Like you, you were incapable of that. We can't, we, we can't, we can't do nothing no more. It's up to you to come up with a solution right now because you're about to pee. That is what my body told me. It was like, you are about to pee. The tightening restrictions, like we, we can only hold out for so long. There's another speed bump on the way to your house. You can't do this. <laughs> so I am coming to the realization that I'm not going to be able to make it to my house. And the bus is still going and we go to the last stop before you reach my house so we at the final stop before my stop so it's one stop to go before i get home and we stop and in that moment i'm thinking okay um maybe you can just get off here find yourself a bush and just walk the rest of the way home you know like just just find yourself a bush pop a squat you know, hope nobody sees you and keep it moving. But if you pee on this bus, that's it. That's like, that's it. Everyone's going to see your social life is over. Like, it's just your life is going to be a mess after this. If you pee right here. And by the time I had mapped all that out of my head and I was like, okay, maybe that's a solution. The bus, you know, those kids are dropped off and the bus is heading to my stop. So the bus is moving. I lost my opportunity. And any normal person would have been like, um, excuse me, I have an emergency. I need you to stop right here, even though it was in between stops, because typically drivers don't do that. But I'm pretty sure if you said it's an emergency, it's an emergency and you need to get off, they would let you off. But my social anxiety was not having that. <laughs> my social anxiety wasn't going to let me do none of that. My social anxiety was like, not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. I, like, it just wasn't going to happen. I kept my mouth shut. I'm panicking. I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't do this. I can't make it to my stop. I can't get off. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? At this point, I'm looking at my backpack. I'm looking around me. There's a person sitting next to me. I'm like, okay, what? What will my life look like if I pee? Like it didn't reach that point. It was like, okay, if I pee right now, what is life going to look like after this? Because mind you, I mean, these are rubber seats. It wasn't like it was some absorbent seat where I can maybe get away with it. I mean, that's disgusting, but it wasn't like, you know, it was a seat where I could, you know, if I peed, it would roll off the seat and all my urine would drip to the back and it would just keep it would, it would just drip around me and it would make noise that's how it was enough in my bladder for it to really make some noise you know it would be like shh, not just like a little you know ugh, it was really really bad so i'm a resourceful girl i'm an adaptable person um and i wasn't about to just go through with peeing on the bus i wasn't about to go on i, I wasn't about to go without a fight i just wasn't so I look around, I look at the person next to me, I just have a little moment where I'm just like, 
analyze this situation, adapt to this situation, get out of this situation. Like just come up with something. <laughs> And the solution that I came up with is quite, quite, quite unorthodox, you guys. You're going to look at me differently after this. You might unsubscribe. You might be like, oh my gosh, this girl is too disgusting. I don't want to be associated with her. I don't want to speak to her. I don't want anything to do with her. But I just want y'all to know before I tell you what I did that I didn't, I was in straight survival mode, okay? In my head, it was. There was nothing else that could be done. There was nothing else that could be done, okay? There was nothing else that could be done. So, before I tell y'all what I did, we're gonna have a little, um, a quick little lesson, okay? On this day, I was wearing black leggings and I'm anemic, so I always have a jacket with me. And it was a jacket a lot like this. Now, Allow me to point out to you that this jacket is very absorbent. So, while sitting in my black leggings and with my black absorbent jacket next to me, I came to the realization that when water or liquid gets on black fabric, You don't really notice you can't really tell that it's there so after quickly coming to that conclusion I balled up my jacket I grabbed it from next to me I balled up my jacket and I sat with it I sat on my black absorbent jacket and I peed. There was nothing else that could be done, okay? I'm not proud of it. Honestly, I am a little proud because let me tell y'all what happened after that, okay? Let me tell y'all what happened after I did this. So y'all... I'm sitting on my jacket, I'm looking at the person next to me, I'm looking around, and my body, of course, was like, okay, you got something here, all right, fine. And it started to release. So I am literally <laughs> sitting on the bus, looking around while peeing on my North Face jacket. And I know what you're thinking, North Face jacket in the summertime? Yes, I'm anemic. I, I brought North Face jacket to school every single day. So I'm looking around and I'm like, is anybody seeing this? The person next to me doesn't notice. I'm feeling the jacket, making sure it doesn't leak through. I'm like, is it going to catch all of it? Because I was peeing so much more than I expected. It wasn't just a little drizzle, y'all. Like, I, it was a full-on toilet bowl worth of pee. All being absorbed by my jacket. I know it was gross. I know it was nasty. But can we give a girl props for being so resourceful? I mean, it takes a special person to come up with a solution like that. So in a way, in a way, I'm a little bit proud of myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because y'all, nobody knew. Nobody knew. When I say nobody knew, like I'm looking around, I'm trying to tell you, nobody knew a thing, at least as far as I know. They were chilling, talking, looking at their phones. Person next to me was chilling, looking at her phone. I was literally peeing right next to her. And I'm just like, wow. So I, I finish up right as we reach my stop. You know, we reach our stop and I'm just like, shh. And I'm done. And I just look around. I get up. I feel my bottom. Of course, it's soaked. But nobody can tell. Not from looking, at least. 
I pick up my jacket. I get my purse. And I leave. I walked off that bus. And nobody knew a thing. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I was just like, I really just finessed that. Like, I just finessed. Like, I, I really... And that was nothing but the grace of God. <laughs> that was the grace of God right there. Because... I mean, why would he do it? It was, it was terrible. I know. I know. I'm nasty. Whatever. I got off that bus undetected. Nobody knew that I peed. I mean, honestly, it's embarrassing. I felt embarrassed. I walked home feeling completely disgusted with myself. I was just like, I really just did that. Like, I really just peed. But it was like, there was nothing else that I could do after that. I went home, took off my clothes, put them in the, the washing machine went to school the next day <laughs> and I was like waiting like to, for somebody to come up to me and say something I was like I was waiting for somebody to pull out a video or say something no I... nobody knew and if you went to Glen Burnie hey <laughs> if you rode my bus hey <laughs> a girl did what she had to do I'm sorry like I just went home and I just I cleaned my clothes and I self-reflected a little bit and I was just like you don't don't do that again like don't don't allow yourself to get in a situation where you have to do that again and to this day I haven't so I'm sorry but yeah that's that's it I mean, that's, that's what happened. That's what happened. Well, anyways, there y'all have it. That's the story of me peeing on the bus, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and <laughs> y'all have a blessed rest of your day <laughs> or night or whatever bye